Hello everyone, Neat the Great Reviews is back with another one. As you can tell in the tone of my voice, I was very excited for this DLC. Unfortunately, I was pretty let down. I didn't really like the Kate Bishop DLC, I thought the character was cool. I liked her movesets. Didn't really like the Hawkeye one, I couldn't finish it, and I couldn't finish this one either. On the positive note, the guy who voiced Kratos voices Black Panther, so that hit, that sounds really good. I really liked it. Like, he really suited it. He did a really good job. The way that Black Panther fights and he moves around is really smooth. I really like his abilities. And I really like the Wakanda setting that they chose for the game. But other than that, unfortunately, the game suffers from all the exact same issues it had before. Really boring levels, other than the Wakanda home base, which isn't a level, it's just a base before you start your level. That was really cool to, like, travel around and find little Easter eggs. But other than that, it's just boring, bland forest. And they said they added new enemies and all that. New enemies are just annoying. And you get constantly enemy spammed all the time. And it's really, really hard to move around and fight all these enemies when you're just getting blasted by like 30 aimbots. And I didn't want them to put aimbots in this. And they're just annoying robots. I don't mind them, but when they throw like 30 of them at you and you can't move around, it really makes the game frustrating, unfortunately. And I was really looking forward to this. So I ended up just looking up the rest of the story because I couldn't get through the rest of the gameplay. And the rest of the gameplay is just defending drop zones, destroying machines before the enemies can get... Like, there's just no creativity within the missions. The story itself is alright. Just, like, I don't know. It's not the best. Claw just comes and basically tries to take the vibranium just like you did in the Black Panther movie. Like, it was alright. I didn't really care for the boss fight with Crossbones and the boss fight with Claw at the end. Like I said, I didn't even make it that far because the game is just so frustrating. And I dropped so much money on this. I bought more skins because I thought I was going to enjoy it and I should have just waited. But, unfortunately, that's the reality. I gave in. Like, these guys are making a Guardians of the Galaxy game, and they're not even putting all their effort into this, and they're just pumping out another game. Can we please get a petition going or something and get another company to make an Avengers game? Because this has some really good aspects. Like, the story's alright. The gameplay is good. Like, hitting enemies feels satisfying and fun. But I'm tired of fucking hitting robots. And just stupid overpower enemies that have 30 damage or 30. Like they have like their health bar is like a 30 level or whatever. It's ridiculous. And it takes forever and ever. And you just got to keep button mashing, button mashing, button mashing. And like I said, the level design is just boring. And the skins that they put in this game are absolutely ridiculous. There's like two good skins. This one, you know, the main Black Panther generic skin. And the purple vibranium one, which is the one I bought. And I bought like $30 worth of like credits. I don't know what I'm going to spend the rest of it on. Because I think I'm just going to stop playing this game for a while. Because I'm just getting so frustrated. I'm, and, and, am I even getting mad that... Like, I'm just getting enemy spam. I'm just getting mad that nothing has changed. They promised... They would change the level design and all that. And it's just the exact same thing. And they, I swear to God, they said they would stop with the enemy spam. And it's ridiculous. You have to, every single level, you have to go through like five, ten ways of enemies. One, one after the other. And it just gets so goddamn tedious. And like I said, Black Panther is very smooth to run around and play as. His special abilities are cool. They don't do a lot of damage. But... I don't know when Spider-Man is going to be coming into the game. And when he does, I really, really hope that they can step it up or whatever DLC is next. Just make the level design better and just stop with the enemy spam. 
and just make the objectives a bit more fun so I don't have to go hit A, hit B, hit C, and then the level's over. Like, there's just absolutely no creativity. They can really put in a lot more effort. They put in a lot of effort in the Wakanda base, so, you know, why can't they put more effort into the game itself? So, sorry for complaining, guys. Don't want to be a negative Nancy, but I was really looking forward to this, and unfortunately, this DLC is just trash.